Hi guys, no sé si me escuchan y no sé si tienen buen internet porque está a punto de caer una tormenta, al parecer. Pero espero que, que, que todo esté bien en casita. Aquí todavía no está lloviendo, pero sí se escucha que va a caer una buena, buena tormenta. Así que cualquier cosa que tenga algún fallo con el internet o algo parecido, pues ustedes me avisan. Y no sé si me ven y me escuchan bien, si me pueden confirmar. ¿Me ven? ¿Me escuchan bien? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, perfect. How are you? How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día, por cierto? Uh, how was your day? Was it good? Normal? It was okay. fine. Okay, está bien. Um, you are saying like you are having like a really good day. And um, we're going to continue with the things that we have. I know there is like a lot of problem because there is like an electric um, turner outside. And I hope that we can have our, our, our class like Stay normally. Running. Sorry. Good evening. No le escuché. Good evening, teacher. Ah, good evening. What happened? It's everything good? Yes. Okay, excellent. Excellent. So uh, we are about to start with the new class and also we're going to do like a new exercise about the, um, the modal verbs that we were talking about. If you remember, uh, we were talking about it. So um, we're going to do an exercise por lo mismo de que, de que, um, um, de que hay como un internet un poquito inestable, vamos a tratar de, de um, como de continuar la clase con lo que tenemos. So, um, we're about to start, but first of all, I need you to remember that you are in the fourth uh, week, esta es la semana número cuatro, por lo tanto, ustedes tienen que haber terminado la sección número 4, 5 y el examen final para esta semana, para el viernes de esta semana. Esta es nuestra segunda clase, así que solo nos quedan dos más. Y pues ustedes tienen que ir adelantando con eso, ¿ok? Tienen que ir adelantando y ya dejarlo prácticamente preparado. Eh, quiero saber si alguien tiene alguna pregunta acerca de la plataforma o algo parecido, si al final han logrado realmente... Eh, Hacer lo que tienen que hacer. ¿Todo bien? Creo sí, que todo bien por el momento. Sí. Ok, ahorita está empezando a llover súper fuerte, así que vamos a tratar de hacer los ejercicios uh, de la manera que se pueda, porque pues yo también tengo como limitado esto del internet, vea, y espero que no se me corte en ningún momento. Pero si se me corta, igual les voy a notificar por WhatsApp. Sin embargo, en este momento vamos a comenzar con un ejercicio a respecto a WULT, al modal verb WULT. Primero que nada, quiero que me recuerden qué es un modal verb. Es, es un... Es un... Modal que cambia el significado de la oración. Ajá. Ok, es, yes. Es un auxiliary verb. Es un, un verbo auxiliar que cambia el significado de la oración y este se usa con un, con un verbo en infinitivo. Perfecto, Martín. Gracias por su participación. 
Okay, when we are talking about modal verbs, we are talking about an auxiliary verb that we are going to use with another verb in infinitive, and it's gonna change the complete meaning of the sentence, of course, because it's not the same when you use like um the 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 sentence in simple present when we use the sentence with the modal verb. So um remember that when we are talking with would, we are talking about well, when we are talking with the modal verbs, we are talking about the um the intention so i need to remember what's the intention of wool what is the intention of the wool what is the intention of the wool guys para que utilizamos wool Wool for the future. Uh huh. Something that will happen in the future. Okay, yeah, it's something that will happen in the future, but the intention, what is it? Propose something. Okay, yes. It's for wishes. Remember when we are talking with the modal verb would, we are talking about wishes, deseos, okay? Cosas que deseamos, que pueden o no pasar en un futuro, pero que deseamos, okay? So yes, that's the intention of would. And remember, you already know the structure. Uh, creo que les dejé la estructura en el, en el chat la vez pasada. Y pues ustedes saben qué es lo que se tiene que hacer. When you are talking with the modal verbs, you are going to use like the same structure with would, with would, with may with can with might with um everything of these modal verbs you're going to use the same structure so we're going to answer a question today as you can practice the modal verb will that is one of the i think um the more complicated um with the modal verbs but also i really think that there is not complicated topic because it's really easy to learn it's really easy to use and it's really easy to remember like the intentions um you use when you are talking with that so um we're going to practice with wool today and I'm going to give you a sentence, well, a question and you're going to do the sentence. This is going to be in breakup rooms, but remember that it's raining, so it's okay if you want to turn off your microphone and do it well, okay? Yo les voy a apagar el micrófono, lo vamos a hacer en las, en las, en las breakup rooms y yo sé que si no se escucha mucho es por, el, por la intervención, pero cada uno tiene que hacer su propio ejercicio. Este es individual. Please, 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 este es individual. Okay, so do you have any questions about it? It's about to do a question, uh, a phrase with no. mood. I give you the question that is who. Ah. What will you do? Uy, ni me di cuenta que no la había escrito bien. Permítame, la voy a escribir bien. Perdón, perdón, perdón. No la había escrito bien. What will you do if you had more time? ¿Qué harían si tuvieran más tiempo libre? Ok, más tiempo libre. Imagínense todas las cosas que podrían hacer si tuvieran tiempo libre. Tienen que ser al menos ocho cositas que ustedes harían si tuvieran tiempo libre, ¿ok? ¿Está bien? ¿Se comprende? Oh. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to put you to the breakup rooms and you can go. See you in a minute, guys.
Ay, no, otra vez les estaba hablando con el micrófono apagado. Solo a mí me pasan estas cosas. Ok, ¿cómo les fue? Quiero escuchar sus, eh, sus ejercicios. Cuéntenme. ¿Quién quiere comenzar? Voluntariamente, claro. Miren que no me gusta elegir, así que voluntariamente, ¿quién me quiere contar? Dígame, Rudy. <laughs> yes, in my case, what I would do if I have more time is I would repair my aunt's animal pasture. I would install the channel of my house for to capture rainwater. I will repair my motor pump that have damaged the body of the water impeller. I will clean to my fridge more often. I will help my aunt to plant on her block of land. That's it. That's it. Okay. Oh my God. Thank you. If I have more free time, I wouldn't clean. <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> clean. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that, that's, that's um, a good, a good information about you because I, I haven't cleaned, I, I won't clean if I had more time. I, I must confess, if I have more free time, I will sleep all the day, all the day. I will take every time every free time to sleep because I really love to sleep. That's my finally answer about this. I will do my eight sentences thinking like, I'm gonna sleep, I will just sleep. So it's good to see that you're gonna clean and you're not with, you're not like me, right? <laughs> Excellent, Rudy. Okay, I know, mm, something else, is, someone else, someone else? Teacher, si? this is an ability. To sleep. Sleeping all day, yeah, yes. of course, of course. I think it's part of my abilities. I, I don't think uh, sleeping too that early. You you will what? Yo no puedo dormir mucho, teacher, hasta la tarde. Really? I can sleep yes. 15 hours <laughs> of 24. Mm. He llegado a dormir hasta 18 horas de 24. Créanme que yo para koala, yo. Si me pagaran por dormir, <laughs> yo. <laughs> I can't sleep. I can't sleep because I, I, I have a sickness. I, I have a insomnia. Really? Absolutely. <laughs> Sometimes I only sleep uh, for two hours and a half. <laughs> ah, okay. That's the reason why I don't have that thing. So I can sleep like a koala every day. <laughs> Okay, so Mauricio, Mauricio, tell me. Can you hear me? Yeah, of course. Can you hear me well? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Te escuchamos, Mauricio. Sí, te escuchamos, Mauricio. Ah, ok, ok, ok. I would like to sleep a lot, but I, I, I don't know why, but I have my, my, my chronologic uh, alarm, probably to say that, because I always woke up at 5 a.m., because after that I take a shower and go to my, my, my job. So yesterday and today uh, are my day off, but I woke up at 5 a.m. as well, and I hate me for that reason, because I, I, I can rest a lot. I can rest well every, uh, at the morning, and, but I try every day to, to, to sleep a lot or, or to try to or, or to take a nap uh, at the afternoon, but uh, I can, I can. You can, oh my God, that's a problem, because I really love to sleep, and I can imagine like a no, uh, when you can do it, um, I heard about it, so I, I don't understand. I just 
like go lay in my bed, close my eyes and I'm done. I'm completely done. And I am a really, really fun to be asleep. Porque me encanta soñar y siento que es como estar muerta un rato, así que me gusta. <laughs> so it's a really, a really cool, good for me. Okay, another answer about the exercise. What will you do if you have more um, free time? Hi, teacher. Hi, tell me, Martin. Uh, if I have more time, uh, I will go with my daughter to the pool every day. Um, I will go around the world. I will study medicine. And mm -hmm. I will learn to cook. And I will like to be an airplane pilot. This is the thing which I, I like it to do if I have more time. To, to do what? Sorry, no le escuché lo último después de airplane. Ah, this is the thing which I, I, I like to do which I, which I have more, I have more, uh, more free time. Ah, you have more free time for that. Okay, that's a really good thing to do. Okay, applause to everyone because you did it so great. And I think we are really uh, prepared to pass to the other part. And I'm going to show you my screen. Y les muestro mi screen. Okay, this is a conversation. So I need two people to be this. Someone to be Marcos and someone to be Meili. Who wants to to the to do um the reading? Martin, okay, Martin, you're gonna be Marcos. Uh-huh. Who else? Yes, I can teach you. Rudy, okay, go guys, go. Mainly, is that me? Uh huh, you or are me. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, mainly? Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What's about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, that's difficult in Peru. Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, that's it. That's it. First of all, do you have any questions about the conversation? No. The okay. teacher, the, the, the little Noah days. How do you spell that? Nowadays is ahora en día. Ahora ah, en okay. Día. Mm. Okay, thank you. A pleasure. Another question? No. Okay, so we are going to go to the presentation because we have something to do. And you can tell me when you can see it.
Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, this is making excuses. Vamos a ver algo que todos hemos conocido y todos hemos hecho alguna vez. Excusas, ok? Cuando no queremos hacer algo, no nos queremos interferir en algo y ponemos una excusa. This is making excuses. So we're going to talk about it. And for this, I need someone to help me to read the first one. Well, todas al mismo tiempo. Jimmy, me ayudaría a leer some common excuses for not accepting an invitation. Some common excuses for accepting an invitation. I can't. My parents are visiting from out of town. I'm busy that night. I'm sorry. I can't find a sister. I'm not feeling well. I have to work. I just got a new puppy. I have to stay home with it. I have class that night. My favorite TV show is on that night. I have to get up early the next morning. Excellent. Thank you, Jimmy. Okay, look at this. These are some excuses that we always use. Okay, so um, cuéntenme mentirosos. ¿Cuáles son utilizados ustedes? <laughs> I had a class that night. <laughs> oh my God, you are putting your English class for excuse. <laughs> okay. Don't judge. Use, Don't judge. I never use excuses. I, I, I will always, do that. I, I always do. say this the, the truth. I always okay. say the truth. I don't want it. I don't want. You don't want. It's an excuse to you? Just I don't want to. It's, I, I only say the truth if I don't want it. Okay. That's amazing. I really would like to say the truth sometimes. Like, realmente no tengo ganas de ir, lo siento. But sometimes I think that it's pretty rude. So I say like, oh my God, I have things to do that night and all of these things. I try not to be a liar because por el TDA se me olvidan las mentiras. Entonces digo mentiras y a veces se me olvida que dije una mentira. Entonces la persona se da cuenta que le estoy mintiendo porque se me olvidó la mentira. Entonces trato de no decir mentiras. So, um, to say the truth, it's a really good thing. But who else uses some excuses like this? ¿Quién más ha utilizado excusas como estas? Sometimes I try to say different things. And for example, today, uh, I'm sorry, but I have issues with my car and I need to fix this. And tomorrow, my, my friend asked me, uh, what happened with your car? You, uh, about my car? What? I don't remember the light. And like ah, me? my car, my car. <laughs> yes, I fixed it. I fixed it. I just need, uh, I just need here or something like that. Yeah, I know. I know. It happens to me a lot. Like I said, um, oh, my God, do you want to go out for the Saturday? And I say, oh, my God, I don't like these people. Or she is going to be with another people that I don't like. And I say, like, um, no, sorry. I have, like, a party that day. And they, they tell me, hey, how was the party? And I say, what party? <laughs> be pretty bad liar una malísima mentirosa porque se me olvidan las mentiras así que yo oh. I, I try not to do it yes I try not to do it ok alguna otra que hayan utilizado eh, I teach you. when I when I went with some, with a uh, uh, doctor date uh, I say with with my 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 boss, uh, my the the day the day is is large, large time, but uh, but the, the 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 medicine day only only uh, is two hours, but I I take uh, four hours. Okay, that's cool. Um, I, I never lied to my to my to my boss because 
I never need to. Nunca he necesitado mentirle a mi jefe, por lo menos. Uh, pero si necesitara mentir, diría I'm very sick. <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty sick. Ok. So, le pueden tomar un screenshot a estas making excuses para hacer la speaking activity de hoy. Tómenle un screen, por favor, para que las tengan por ahí y sepan como qué mentiras dar. Y vamos a hacer nuestra speaking activity. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? No. No. Ok, tomen el screen, tomen el screen, alguien que lo tenga al menos. Ok, so, um, we're going to do this. Esto es una conversación. Entre todos ustedes vamos a hacer una conversación en la cual estén dando excusas. Por ejemplo, eh, viene Crisia y le pregunta a Rudy, Hey Rudy, do you want to go to the cinema this Saturday? And Rudy says, mm, Hey Crisia, I really would like to go with you to the cinema this Saturday, but my mom is sick and I don't want to her feel along and all, and all of these things. And Crisia says, oh my God, I understand, but um, what do you think about Wednesday? Are you free on Wednesday? And Rudy says, um, yeah, I think I'm free, but um, uh, maybe maybe my sister is going to need me because she has a thing to do in the college. So um, I need to be to be um, looking for her. So maybe another day and all of these things. Una conversación donde estén poniendo excusas, ¿ok? ¿Se comprende? Ok, teacher. Ok, go. See you in a minute.
I can hear teacher because the rain is falling very hard. Hi everyone. We are getting back right now. How was their exercise? I don't have another earphone. Sorry? I don't have another earphone. You I can, can hear, hear you. me. Really is an excuse. <laughs> ah, is an I excuse. can hear you. Ah, ah you are practicing. <laughs> yes, I nearly to lie. Uh huh. You are a good liar. Okay. Don't lie to your teacher. <laughs> I like you. Okay, guys. I'm so glad to see that you finished your exercise. So, I would like to know who wants to share it. ¿Quién lo quiere compartir? Bueno, ¿quiénes van a compartirlo? Yeah, teacher. That's me. Rudy. El, el grupo, sí, del grupo nuestro. Escogió, why don't we speak English in class? Este, okay. Mi excusa sería, I lost the internet, that's why I don't speak it. That's a good excuse. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's it? We say, we say that we don't speak English just because uh, uh, who was angel for tea or says uh, my mother is sexy and I can pay attention. Okay. So I have okay, I understand. That's it. Yes. Confirm and make a studito. Yo creo que perdieron la señal, teacher, pero ya van, estamos ahí todos en el grupo. Ah, ok, 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 ok. Yo entiendo, si sí se está perdiendo la señal, hasta yo la perdí. Ajá. Ay. For the rain. It's raining a lot. It's raining a lot. Very hard. You can hear. Okay. You can hear. You can hear. I can hear you. <laughs> okay. I think everything was fine with this. Making excuses isn't, it's really pretty easy. Uh, las excusas creo que es lo más fácil que existe. La verdad no necesita muchísima explicación. But I need to know if you have any questions about it. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de esto? No, no question. No, no question, dicho. Ok, Thank perfect. You. Solo les quiero recordar que tienen hasta el viernes en la medianoche para terminar el final exam, así que no se les olvide. You can do it, you can do it. Están a nada de lograr este módulo, así que ustedes pueden. Y los veo mañana en clase. Ok, bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.